What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. Back again with another one, two, three. Yep, you got it. Classic. No doubt about it. Yes, indeedy. And this time we have the classic by... Uh, Miss Mariah Curry, simply titled My All. like to give out a shout out to Miss DJ Soul. Thank you so much for uh, the, uh, for sponsoring this tutorial. And um, we want to jump right in into it. Pretty simple song. Um, you have your intro and you got. So what you want to do is play between the D, G, and D again. So you're going D, G, D. And then what I do is do a little flip with the D to the F. So you got D, G, D. Flip up to F. And then come to C minor. Okay, double C on the left hand. G, C, E flat. So again, D, G, D. Flip to F, and then C minor. And then I go to a D7 chord. Double D on the left hand. A, C, D, F sharp on the right hand. And then, then you just want to hit a G minor chord and stay on it for eight counts, just kind of playing around with it. The chord is double G on the left hand. G, B flat, D on the right hand, and just kind of, and do the same thing again. Da, 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 da. Okay, now wait, let me explain what I'm doing. After I do the da, 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 I hit the E flat first, and then I bring the rest of the chord in. That's what works for me. Da, 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 da. And then bring the chord in. Okay, so just so that you know, and then you do the the D7 chord again, but then this time you want to kind of um, do a G suspended four, double G on the left hand, G, C, D on the right hand, and then take this C and resolve it down to B. And then you have a G major chord, and that is the whole intro for the song. So let me play it slowly again. Da, da, da. Let me do that again. Here we go. And then... And then I play that melody one more time, but I come an octave down. This is my middle C, just so you know where I am on the piano. Now I'll just go. Same thing. Everything's the same. You're just doing it an octave lower. And that's just how I like to start the verse. You don't um, you just. Okay. So you have C minor or C minor 7. A lot of times I play C minor 7. So you, when, every time I say C minor, if you want to make it C minor 7, it's fine. Double C on the left hand. G, B flat, C, and E flat on the right hand. And then I just do a regular D. I don't do the D7. Once the verse starts, double D on the left hand. G flat, A, D on the right hand. Then, I, then you have a G minor chord again. Double G on the left hand. G, B flat, D on the right hand. Same thing again. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you got your C minor 7 again. No need, I, you know, I've spelt these chords out enough. Your D major chord again. And then this time when you go to G minor, you're only going to stay on it for six beats. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and on seven, eight, you're going to keep your G minor on your right hand. 
G, B flat, and D, but you're gonna take the G on your left hand and walk it down to F because you're walking to now what I call the pre-chorus. And then you wanna go to E flat major nine. So let me back up again. Let me just back up just a little bit. So with the verse, da, 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 D major, G minor, da, da, da. Six beats for G minor, one, da, da, da. like that, and then, okay. And then at that part, um, you wanna go to E flat major nine, double E flat on the left hand, F. G, B flat, D on the right hand. Um, do I want to do it this way? No, 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 no. I want to do D suspended. So we're going to do, yeah, let's do, let's do this D suspended for double D on the left hand, G, A, D on the right hand, then take this G, and bring it down to G flat. That resolves it. So you'll go like that. Like that. You can do that. And then you want to go back to the G minor chord again. And you want that's for eight beats. You just kind of hold it. Play with it. Okay, now that's the chorus. Let me go back again. Let me do the whole verse one more time uninterrupted. So this is the whole verse. At this point, you want to go to the verse, which is, I give my own. Okay, so that melody that you're going to play is D, G, A. That's the melody. D, G, A. I give my. Just play that. Like I said, you're playing the G. I give my. And let's do C minor nine. You can do C minor seven, but I like the C minor nine sounds a little bit jazzy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, double C on the left hand, D, E flat, G, and B flat on your right hand. Uh, and you want to just come down to a regular D major chord, double D on the left hand, D, G flat, A on the right hand. Then you want to go to a G minor. I'm doing a different inversion with the G minor. This time I'm doing double G on the left hand. And now I'm doing D, G, B flat with my right hand. Keep your right hand exactly where it is. Take your left hand, drop it down to F. So that's G minor over F. That's an easier way of looking at it. And then you want to go down to... An e flat major seven by just taking that F down to E flat, double E flat on your left hand. G, E flat, G, I'm sorry, D. I think I said G right there. I'm sorry, D, E flat, G, and B flat on the right hand. Okay. So, so far, I give my That's where we stopped. Then you want to go back to. Did I do that right? I give my. Okay, there we go. I knew I did something wrong there. Okay, so I I didn't do. I taught you the right chords. I just I, I jumped ahead of myself. Now after that, after you hit that E flat major seven, you want to go back to C minor seven. 
C minus seven again, but this time I'm doing a different inversion. So look at the first half again. I give my I give my Now I'm coming down here to C minus seven. Double C on the left hand. B flat, C, E flat, G. And if you miss that minor nine sound, you can always take this C and play the D right there. That'll put you back on C minor nine if you'd rather hear the C minor sound, okay? And then after that chord, you want to go to a F nine chord. F E flat on the left hand, or you can just do double F. You can also just do double F on your left hand. I just... Add out of habit, I usually go to the F7 on my left hand. So F, E flat on the left hand. Then you have your A, C, E flat, and G on the right hand. Then you want to go to B flat, major 9, double B flat on the left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand. And then you want to go to... E flat major nine. Now this is a slightly different inversion. Double E flat on the left hand. G, B flat, D, and F on the right hand. So far I give my the screen it says a diminished seven which really this is this is like a half diminished chord so usually with half diminished chords i like to call them flat five chords so the, i'm calling this on the chord sheet a minor seven flat five okay uh double a on the left hand g a c e flat on the right hand and now this I call this on the chord sheet A flat seven, flat five, but sharp 11 is still appropriate because any flat five chord, flat five is always the equivalent of sharp 11 when you're looking at it from a scale degree. So just know on the chord sheet, I wrote flat five, but sharp 11, if you rather look at it as sharp 11, okay, you got it. You can look at it as that. All right, double A flat on the left hand, G flat, A flat, C, and then your sharp 11 or flat 5 is the D on your right hand. And then you want to go back to your G minor, double G on the left hand, G, B flat, D on the right hand. Then take your left hand and drop it down to F. And of course, I just call that G minor over F. All right. And then you want to keep walking down and take your left hand down to E. And then you want to do uh, E on the screen. It says diminished seven is really half diminished. So what we want to call it on the chord sheet is E minor seven flat five. Okay. Double E on the left hand. E G B flat. That's the flat five. Or you can even say sharp 11, I guess. <laughs> and um, although we never say that, we always say flat five. And D on the right hand. And then you go back to C minor or C minor seven. Double C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. And then you want to do your D suspended four, double D on the left hand, G, A, D on the right hand. And then just take this G and bring it down to G flat. That's all you're doing. Da. That's just resolving it down to a D major chord. And then the last chord I really have to show you for the entire song is G minor again. Double G on the left hand, G, B flat, and D. And you just play with that for eight beats. I give, give my all. This is the chorus. Da.
there's no more chords to show you for the song because after the chorus, you play the verse again and then the little pre-chorus, then you play the chorus again. Then there's an instrumental section where it's like the little guitar. I, th I think it's like a guitar solo or something like that. All you're doing is just playing the chords from the verse again. You just play the verse again. You play that little pre-chorus and then you just play the chorus again. And that's it. So there's no real bridge. That's really the whole song. So um, for, let's just go from the verse, pre-chorus, and then chorus. And that's it. So mm -hmm. it's the verse. To the pre chorus, to the chorus, And then, like I said, you just play the verse again. Even when there's the instrumental solo, you just play the chords to the verse again. Then you play the chorus and just end, make sure you end the song with a G minor chord. Whenever you're ready to end the song, just end it on G minor. You can always add the F for minor seven. Or even if you want to end it on G minor nine, you can always do A, B flat, D, and F with your right hand with G on the left. always do that you know so have fun with that one and i will definitely catch y'all on the next one peace